this is a 55 inch LG G2 series TV with Google TV. Um, OnLive is going to be pre-installed on these televisions in a future update. You can see with the OnLive icon on the dashboard here, um, it'll just be enabled um, and it'll turn your LG Google TV into a console without any additional hardware or any additional um, things for you to do to enable it. Um, on Live, we're previewing the experience of On Live on these TVs now, um, and in an upcoming software update, um, you'll just be able to run the On Live Player app. The TV is really great because it's got an L9 dual core processor, so everything from web browsing to On Live to watching other content is really fast and smooth. Um, you know, the LG folks are talking about the multitude of content that the Google TV has on this device, um, and it even has this really cool. Um, magic remote that has a motion, um, you know, a gyroscope in it, so that you basically get this moving cursor on the screen based on uh, the remote. It's also a QWERTY remote, so on the back side of it, you've got the full QWERTY keyboard. And we're working with LG on potentially enhancing this to be more gamer friendly as well and turn it into a, a D pad of some type. So you can see here we've got um, the OnLive system running. And it should look very familiar because obviously no matter what device you have, you're going to have that same on-live experience, which is one of the great parts about it. You know, and obviously the, the on-live controller, controller um, you know, with Bluetooth, uh, it also has a, a USB adapter, and that's what this TV is actually will be able to use for your Google TV. You'll be able to just plug in the USB adapter into the TV and have an amazing console gaming experience. Since Google TV is built on Android, you'll also be able to plug in any other compatible gaming controller uh, that works with Android and have a great console experience as well. So you're familiar with the online spectating and being able to watch other people play? Well, that's the second thing we announced today. Uh, is a brand new feature to OnLive called OnLive MultiView. Basically, it's the next generation in spectating, the evolution of spectating. We think it's going to do wonders for you know, social gaming on OnLive. Because with current spectating, you, you can't be playing a game to watch other users. You have to be in the main menu to sort of see what they're up to. What we've done is we've enabled you to be able to play a game, single player or multiplayer, and be able to watch other people play at the same time. So with this simple key press, I'm gonna, you can go ahead and get the screen here, my single player game has gone into a window over here, and now we tie all the screen with three other live gameplay sessions. So if I was in a multiplayer game, these sessions would be intelligently selected to show other users who are on my team in the multiplayer or the co-op game. Or if I'm in a group chat with my friends, these streams would be the streams from the friends of mine who I'm chatting with. So you can imagine, instead of just a disembodied voice in your headset, now you can actually see what they're doing. So when you hear them cheer, like, yeah, I won that race, or whatever, you can actually see what they're doing and kind of cheer them on as well. And so you can see, I can put my focus into my game, and I can play my game. So I can just say, here, load latest autosave, and I can go and have a, a gaming experience on my own while I keep track of my friends. Or if I want to do a little voyeurism, I can come over here and I can say, well, show me the most cheered game uh, or game sessions that are going on right now. And so, of course, this guy who's playing Saints Row 3 as a scantily clad woman uh, has a most cheered session. Obviously, yeah, I can pick this and I can say, show me the longest games. And so here's somebody who's playing you know, Fish Dumb or one of the other puzzle games for a very long session. Okay. So you've got a lot of kind of cool social things that are going to be happening with online multiplayer.